Dairy Queen guy, Larry Little, sitting in your office. Hey, yeah, I told him he could come in. He wants to talk to you about a crash? What, a nativity scene with baby Jesus? Yeah, it's on public property and the city's making oh, shit. Movement. I thought he was just coming in to get his picture took. You uh, know? Congressman, yeah. you're exactly who I need to speak to. You have a moment? Sure. Tip asked me to talk to you. Okay. He wanted me to talk to you about John Murtha. Go ahead. The prosecutor's gonna go after him. Well, they ain't gonna find anything. John Murtha's as clean as my mother's kitchen floor. Yeah, but Tip would like to put you on the ethics committee, just the same. You're kidding. No. Well, Jesus, Dunley, everyone in town knows I'm on the other side of that issue. Ethics? Yeah. <laughs> well, the speaker would like to put you on the uh, committee anyway. Okay. Well, if anyone asks what the hell I'm doing on the ethics committee, I'll just tell them I like chasing women and drinking whiskey, and the speaker felt we were underrepresented. One man, one vote. Exactly. Tip's gonna want to return the favor. Tuesday, right? Oh, uh, that is Tuesday, yeah. So, if anything comes up that you'd like me to speak with him about, please. Yes. Yes. I'd like to be on the board of directors of the Kennedy Center. Charlie. I'm sorry. It turns out Congress appoints the board of directors of the Kennedy Center. It's a great place to take a date, and I can never afford a ticket. Consider it done. Excellent. Go vote. I've got a few minutes. Let's see what's on the lockers. Why can't you wait for newspapers like everybody else? Well, I think it's productive to know today's news today. And it makes me one day smarter than you, which I enjoy as well. I know you do. You don't think that's a little crazy? Pan Am and Eastern are lower in their fares. Because of Brandon. What's a little crazy? Joining the board of the Kennedy Center so you can get free tickets to the Royal Ballet. Of Hold on. What? AP story out of Kabul. Uzbekistan? Afghanistan. Russia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel, Egypt. Jim Van Wagenen's our point man in black approach for the defense subcommittee. Yeah. Have him come to my office as soon as possible. How am I voting on this? Yes. You sure? Yes. The Boy Scouts. Uh huh. Jim Van Wagenen, get him and show him that wire store. Yes, sir. Oh my God, she is a minute woman. No, she's a tridel. Well, she is a minute woman, Charlie. Oh, Joanne. Yeah. She's a direct descendant of George Washington's sister. <laughs> Says she had a great uncle who was killed at the Alamo. Former Miss Cottonball. Had her own local television talk show. Look, Pakistan's honorary consul to Houston, Texas. How's that for a title, huh? This is an ultra-right-wing group of anti-communist fanatics. They're not ultra-right-wing. What are they? Well, they're ultra-right-wing. What are you doing hanging around this woman? Did you hear me say she was a former Miss Cottonball? You are unbelievable. Oh, come on. You're going to love her. And you know, one of the things she's trying to do over there is liberate the women. And what better way than through a slave girl auction? Charlie? So sorry for keeping you waiting. No, it's no problem, Joanne. This is Bonnie Bach. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure meeting you, Mrs. Herring. This is a wonderful party. Why don't you uh, give us a few moments? Yes, sir. Oh, Bobby, you could ask someone for a Bombay martini up very dry. Oh, I'm not a slave girl, actually. I'm the congressman's administrative assistant. Isn't that wonderful for you? Yes. Two olives, please. Tell them it's for me. They'll know. Certainly. All right, you, come on. How did it go? Well, there were three of them. It was like getting slapped around by a Pakistani vaudeville team. You know, you've pretty much hit rock bottom when you've been told you have character flaws by a man who hanged his predecessor in a military coup. Can we go home now? No, no, we have to make one more stop. Beautiful. How, how many children do you have? She had six. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What do you want to be when you grow up? Hi, I have Congressman Wilson here to see the station chief, Harold Holt. Down the hall, second door on the left. Oh, we don't see. 
You know, I had a neighbor growing up with a name right out of Dickens. Mr. Charles Hazard. And Mr. Hazard didn't like the neighborhood dogs messing up his flower beds. Mr. Hazard ground up a glass bottle and put in a bowl of dog food and fed it to me. What did you do? Well, I got some gasoline. I drove over to the black section of town. Now, these people hadn't voted in any of these elections, so I was only 13. And that's the day I fell in love with America. What time do we land? 7.30 a.m. in D.C. I want the CIA in my office at 10. Assistant Deputy Director or higher. Tell them that if I don't see someone at 10, I'm going to start docking their allowance at a rate of $1 million a minute. Yes, sir. You get me another one then, would you? 